It's time to track where the coldest air on the continent will go over the next let's say week. So right now the polar vortex is actually up in Hudson Bay. That's where the core of this lobe of the polar vortex resides and it'll kind of stretch out over the course of the next four or five days kind of from northern Canada all the way over towards western Quebec and then eventually it'll kind of reconsolidate back towards the Arctic Ocean as we push towards mid-December. So there will be a lot of cold air to play with this month and in fact the temperature change as we transition from Wednesday to Thursday will be quite extreme across northeastern Ontario. In fact, 24 hour temperature changes are in excess of 20 degrees Celsius. Take Timmins for example, there's the polar plunge temperatures by the time we head into early Thursday morning are minus 27. So does it classify as a flash freeze? Well, technically no, you really need that temperature to start above the freezing mark and then fall at least 12 degrees Celsius within three hours. And there's lots of nuances at play with how much of that moisture on the ground evaporates, that sort of thing. Our temperatures for Wednesday, you can see where the core of the cold is going to sit and then the wind chills into the minus 30s across northern Canada. And just a refresher on wind chills, can't really measure it with a thermometer. It's how your skin feels when that warmth, that bubble of warmth essentially literally blows away. So it's your perceived feeling of how cold it is due to the moving air. There's our temperatures on Thursday. It's really gotten colder across southern Quebec. And then by Friday, that pushes into Atlantic Canada where we're forecasting our temperatures to drop in excess of 10 degrees to finish off the week.